always hear HDL and LDL cholesterol is the good and the bad cholesterol. Is there any truth to that? No. You know, there's, there's only one type of cholesterol. Uh, it's, it's the cholesterol molecule. The, the good and bad are oversimplifications. And even uh, beyond that, uh, I'd like to talk briefly about uh, a recent study conducted by UCLA uh, in conjunction with the American Heart Association. And they looked, uh, they had a database of 541 hospitals for six years and uh, recorded 136,000 heart attacks. What they found, and I think it surprised them, is 75% of those heart attack patients, 102,000 people, had cholesterol in the target range. In other words, below 130 milligrams uh, per, uh, per deciliter. That's their LDL. So here we have the guidelines telling us to restrict cholesterol. We have uh, 15 to 20 million people on cholesterol-lowering drugs. Yet in this very comprehensive study, uh, the people are ha having heart attacks have either low or very normal cholesterol. So you're saying that these guidelines that we're putting in place by saying, you know, your cholesterol has to remain at this level or lower don't really mean anything? No, there was no association in this study between high cholesterol and heart attacks. The association was between uh, heart attacks and low uh, LDL. In fact, 50% 50% of the people that had a heart attack had LDL under 100, which is supposedly the safe range. So what was the real problem if it wasn't cholesterol with those people? Well, the, the real problem is that we have to look at, at, not at total cholesterol, but we have to look at subfractions. And those subfractions aren't even cholesterol. Let's just take HDL, for example. HDL is called the good cholesterol. HDL isn't cholesterol. HDL is a lipoprotein uh, that, that has cholesterol and fat. HDL uh, is a molecule that picks up loose cholesterol and brings it back to the liver for recycling. So we want our HDL to be as high as possible and for at least 10 or 15 years now, we've learned that the higher your HDL, the lower your risk of heart disease. That's what we should be looking at. Not total cholesterol, but how high would our, uh, is our HDL in relationship to our triglycerides. Triglycerides are those dangerous blood fats made in the liver from excess carbohydrates.